Alright, it is BLM here. It's time for another video. This is going to be my game room tour for 2013. I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I've been wanting to do another room tour, that is. Um, but I just haven't had my collection displayed in a way that I like wanted it to be. Like it, um, Before now, like all my games are like stacked on top of each other and shit like that. I didn't like that, so I'm really happy to have my collection the way it is now. So, yeah. Um, now entering the room. Um, Shit, you can't even see everything in um, one view, but yeah, there's um, my collection as of right now. Um, yeah, I have um, 1,155, or 1,115 games, that's what it is. Um, yeah, 99% of them were bought in the wild. The only ones that weren't were... Um, like, a f like probably, s I think there's like six of them that I bought from like BestBuy.com or something like that. But with the exception of those, everything here was bought in the wild. Um, yeah, and um, here's the rest of the room. Yeah. Just bed there, fucking lazily made. Um, I guess I'll start like nightstand here um, with my um, piece of shit tablet. Um, then iPod on a like cheap uh, iHome ripoff. Then um, 360 controller, my 3DS, which has Puzzle Quest in it because I've been playing that quite a bit now. Um, my uh, Wii controller, wallet, um, my piece of shit phone, which I'm finally getting rid of today. So happy. Uh, I just got the Samsung Galaxy uh, S3. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about that, um, and, yeah, um, in there is just really just random bullshit, nothing really that important, um, just like old toys and stuff, um, over there, which you can barely even see, is the backyard, um, over here, um, are games that haven't been in a game collection update yet, these will be in the January one, um, yeah, and, um, uh, here, just a whole bunch of notebooks, uh, filled with, there was an anime, I, I'm not an anime, a manga I tried to write a long, long time ago, um, like five years ago or so, and, um, yeah, this is, like, filled with information on that, uh, never finished it, really, like, I'm pretty close, but just, I haven't worked on it in a few months now, but, whatever, um, here are just, like, textbooks and shit, and, um, here's a binder full of all my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I don't know if that's really that important. Used to be a serious Yu-Gi-Oh player. Um, now I just think the game's pretty bullshit. Um, um, clothes in there. This is actually a table thing that I use as um, for my pickup videos. However, um, you can see right here that's actually like there's a chip in it. That's because um, during my Black Friday video, it kind of broke. Um, I guess it was too heavy or something. I don't know. It just chipped off. That's why if you watch my um, last Black Friday video, you can if you actually pay attention. I'm like looking to the side. Most of the time, because I'm actually trying to fix it, which I don't know why it would like. I don't know why it would just pop in, but whatever. Um, and going over here to the entertainment center, um, really a whole bunch of fucking clothes up here that I just never wear. Um, then a basketball that I got for Christmas from a family member that I'm gonna re be returning because I don't play basketball anymore. Um, just like random bullshit here. <laughs> Tell you like, um, yeah. Then, um, TV, it's a piece of shit, I'm getting a new one, that's pretty much all I have to say for that, um, there's a whole bunch of fucking cables, I need to get an AV switcher, I think, um, that's probably what I'm gonna get from the money I get from the basketball, get an AV switcher, um, because I really fucking need one if you can't tell, um, then, over here, are my video game consoles, um, yeah, right here, PS3, Super Slim, um, just recently got the PS3 back. Here's the controller. Um, yeah, I actually like the Super Slim Tell Truth. I think it's um, much better than what I expected it to be. Um, I thought it would be a cheap piece of plastic, and it's a cheap piece of plastic, but it actually works, surprisingly. So, um, And the game in there is, I don't know if you can see that, but Mass Effect 2. I've been playing that a lot recently. Um, underneath that, uh, my PS2. Um, with wireless controller here, Pelican controller, that I use. Um, 
underneath that Retron 3 with a controller and then um, on the side is the Genesis controller. Um, yeah, I like I recently just moved my consoles um, and something I didn't realize while playing the Retron 3 here is that I can't play NES games with it here because the NES games are too big. Um, so it's going to be a pain in the ass to play NES games. I'm probably going to have to like move it um, while I play NES games, but whatever. Uh, 360. I uh, love 360, obviously. Uh, Dreamcast and N64, which these two consoles I don't really play that much of anymore, sadly. Uh, Dream, I mean, Dreamcast I really never did because I don't really have too many Dreamcast games. And um, the N64, just because I haven't really picked up anything too interesting recently. Um, but, yeah. Alright, there's my Xbox, which I just realized actually that I never actually showed my Xbox in a collection video, so... There, I'm not lying. <laughs> I do have an Xbox. And, um, yeah, the controller. And then, um, my red Wii. Which I want to get a Wii U soon, so I can, like, not use this Wii. Um, so I can put it back in the box, because I don't really want to use it. But, um, yeah. Now, going to my game collection. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just start here. Uh, start at the top here, the box for my PS3, the infamous and uh, Sa uh, not Assassin's Creed, uh, Uncharted bundle. Um, the Far Cry 3 GameStop pre-order edition sl slipcover, um, which I just use this to hold up my PS3 games right here. Um, these are the ones that came to the console, infamous 1, 2, Uncharted, fuck, I just realized that wasn't even on frame, but um, yeah, infamous 1 and 2, Uncharted 1 and 2. Um, then the actual PS3 games, uh, Alice, Dead Island, which is still sealed because I haven't played it, Mass Effect, which I've been playing the shit out of, um, shit out of, and, um, Motor Storm and NBA. Um, 360 box, PSP box, PSP games, nothing interesting. Um, uh, my PSP is actually broken, that's why I don't have too many PSP games, but I have, like, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, and, like, Ratchet and Clank, and Hot Shots Golf, and stuff like that, so, um, pretty fun games, like, the only game I can, um, the main reason my PSP is broken is actually because the buttons don't, um, like the trigger buttons don't work, so, um, I can still actually play like Hot Shots Golf and Wipeout Pure, but that's about it. Um, over here, 360 collection, um, have 60 something 360 games, um, I love the 360, I'm still missing a lot of great games though, um, but I'll point out the ones that I do have like Alan Wake, uh, the Assassin's Creed series, obviously. Um, with 3 being the newest one. Um, Bayonetta is a great game. Uh, Bioshock 1 and 2. Uh, let's see. Enslaved. Really underrated title here. Um, this is personally like one of my favorite games of all time. In all seriousness. I love that game. Uh, Final Fantasy 13. Gears of War 1 and 2. Cameo. Uh, going down one shelf. Um, this is pretty cool. Overlord, but this is actually the PAL version. Um, yeah. Found that at a pawn shop for like $3. Uh, collector's edition of Perfect Dark. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Vanquish. One of my favorite games for 360. And that, um, transitions into my original Xbox collection. Which, original Xbox is fucking ridiculous how many games I have for now. Um, at the beginning of the year, I had, like, what, nine, I think? Something like that. And now I have 114, I think? So, like, some ridiculous number like that. Um, but they're just, like, so cheap and so easy to find that, um... I mean, yeah. And I also have some fantastic games here. Like, Advent Rising, been playing that. Um, pretty fun game. Uh, Amped Games, Burnout 3. One of my personal favorites. Dark Watch... Uh, let's see, F eh, Fable, I guess. Eh, not really a big fan, but people are. Other people are. Um, let's see, Guilty Gear. Awesome fight fighting game. Uh, Halo 1 and 2. Uh, let's see. Max Payne 1 and 2. Prince of Persia. Absolutely love Prince of Persia. And then the final shelf of Xbox games. Project Gotham Racing is awesome. Uh, The Thing. Really awesome game. Thrillville. Uh, Time Splitters 2, one of my favorite games of all time. And, uh, yes, the end of my Xbox collection moves into my Dreamcast collection, which is really pitiful. Um, Dreamcast is just um, a console that I just don't find games for ever. 
And if I do, they're all sports. So if you actually look at the titles here, like they're almost all sports games. NBA, NFL, um, fuck, Focus, oh, whatever. All right, um, yeah, like World Series baseball, stuff like that. Um, the only ones I don't ha that I have that aren't sports games is Crazy Taxi. And then um, <laughs> Who Wants to Beat Up a Millionaire? Gotta love that. But um, yeah, I wish I had more Dreamcast games. Going down, um, Game Boy Advance games here. Um, five box ones there. Um, I believe they're all complete. Yeah, they're all complete, actually. Uh, Dragon Ball Z is probably the best one there. Uh, then loose ones. Uh, pretty good ones. Just it's a pain in the ass to display these and shit. Um, like uh, Drill Dozer right there. Um, Pokemon Fire Red. Just showing these because these are the easiest to point out because they're a different color. Iridion. Uh... Rayman, like, yeah, um, like Yoshi's Island, other stuff like that. Just a pain in the ass to show these, though. Uh, Spider-Man Plug and Play, I've been trying to get rid of that, but no one wants it, so I just decided to keep it. Fuck it. Um, and then my Game Boy Advance is actually in there. Then going down to the bottom shelf here is, um, that Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, was it, uh, sticker kit thing? But inside of it, I've shown this many times, it's just, like, receipts and, uh, like, like disc sleeves, manuals, just random shit like that. Um, so yeah. Then, right next to that, you can barely even see it, but, um, those are Atari games. Don't have an Atari. Don't really, like, I'm not really in the market for one, unless it's like a couple dollars, to tell the truth. But, not those for really cheap. Right there, Game Gear games. Don't have a Game Gear either. Um... But I just like throw, like these games I just throw in with Craig, I'm uh, not Craig's, uh, flea market deals. Just to make the deal even sweeter. Um, right here, uh, PC games. Have a lot, but I don't really, I'm not really a PC gamer. I just like pick them up whenever they're like, tw like 25 cents or whatever. Like this battlefield here is still sealed and so is that Madden right there. Um, yeah, I have Halo, I have, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Tony Hawk. Um, this one right here is pretty cool, A3, um, it's a Korean MMO, and then, um, Doom here, on um, floppies, um, what else, Panzer Dragoon, awesome, Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, this is pretty cool too, uh, sealed, uh, theme park, it's factory sealed, um, and then my one lonely CDI game, Lords of the Rising Sun. Don't have a CDI either. Um, but got for like $2. And then right here are Sega Saturn games. Uh, Last Gladiators and then um, NHL 97. Don't have a Saturn, but really want one. That's probably the next console that I, I actually plan on getting. Um, just really want a Saturn, but the games are so fucking hard to find. Same thing with the Dreamcast. Like, holy shit. But I really want Saturn for like Panzer Dragoon and... Um, Guilty, uh, not guilty, fuck, uh, Guardian Heroes and shit like that. Um, so yeah, um, in between the two shelves, um, right here are two dance pads and then the Guitar Hero World Tour guitar inside of it, obviously. And then, um, going to the next shelf at the top, um, you can barely even see it, but, um, there's a Super Joy there, um, complete in box, and then, uh, sealed, uh, ceramic white PS2 Slim. Um, not really a big fan of the Slim, that's why it's still sealed. Um, right here, Pac-Man Power Pack sleeve thing. And then, my PS2 collection. Um, yeah, I'll just go through these. Um, that bowling and Are You Smart in 5th Grader are sealed. Love the ATV Off-Road Fury series. The Bouncer is a really awesome game. Call of Duty right there, sealed. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, absolutely love them, especially Tenkaichi 3. And Budokai 3. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy game. And then, um, that 12 right there is actually still sealed. And then Flipnik is a fucking brilliant pinball game. Really awesome game. And then, uh, God of War, obviously. Great games. Um, Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. Don't have San Andreas for some reason. I don't know why. Just can't find it for cheap. And, uh, Guitar Hero. One, three, Aerosmith and World Tour don't have two for some reason. Um, 
Hot Shots Golf 1 and 2, awesome games. Jack and Daxter 1 and 2, awesome games. Uh, Kesson 1, 2, and 3, um, decent games, I guess. Uh, Killer 7, really unique game, really fun. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, great RPG. Uh, Soul Reaver 2, uh, Lumines, fan-fucking-tastic puzzle game here. Um, if you haven't played Lumines, definitely give it a try. Um, yeah. Mojo, on the raid game. Uh, and, uh, NBA Street, Volume 2, um, put, like, probably 100 hours into this game back in the day. Absolutely love that fucking game. Uh, Phantom Brave, pretty cool RPG. Still have not played it, though. Um, I just got it, like, last month, but I just don't have the time to play it yet. Um, really want to. Um, everyone's favorite game here, uh, Prism. Uh, Chapter 1, The Dark Unicorn. Great game, as everyone knows. Um... R Type Final, Ratchet and Clank, Resident Evil 4, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, what else is here? Yeah, nothing that memorable there. Sly Cooper, I guess. Um, shit, that was loud. Uh, um, Soul Calibur 3, uh, SSX 1, Tricky, and 3. Fucking brilliant games. Uh, let's see. Time Splitters, of course. Time Splitters is fucking amazing. Uh, Trigger Man, piece of shit. Um, that Twisted Metal, still sealed. And uh, Yu Yu Hakusho and then Zathura ends my PS2 collection. Um, have like, what, 230 something PS2 games now. It's fucking ridiculous. And uh, PS1 games, my second biggest collection. Like, PS2 is obviously my biggest collection. Uh, PS1, I have 165 games for. Um, right here are my long box games. Only three of them. Just don't see them that often. Um, then. Right here are the jewel case games. Uh, Alundra 2. Alundra 2, really awesome RPG. If you'll go back in. And uh, Ape Escape, great game, as everyone knows. And then... Let's see... Uh, if it will focus... Uh, which it won't, but... Um, Alright, I'll just point out the good ones. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. Um, let's see, Crash, Bandicoots, uh, 1, 2, and 3, Croc, Legend of the Gobos, 1 and 2, great games, um, let's see, oh, of course I have to mention this, Final Fantasy 7, um, yeah, uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Hot Shots Golf, Hydro Thunder, Hydro Thunder, fucking amazing racing game. Um, again, everyone's favorite game here, um, Jumpstart Wildlife Safari. Um, one of my, like, in all series, it's one of my favorite games of all time right here. Uh, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Just fucking amazing game. I mean, shit. Um, Medal of Honor. I guess now you can kind of read the titles. Um, Need for Speed. Going down here. More Need for Speed. Um, they had decent titles here, nothing really that remarkable. I guess Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, great game. Damn it. <laughs> Herp -er -derp. Um, Saga Frontier 2, pretty expensive game. Well, not really that expensive, probably like $15, but... Expensive for my PS1 collection, um, because I don't have that many valuable games. Uh, Spiral 2 and Spiral Year of the Dragon. Uh, Super Puzzle Fighter, um, Tony Hawk's, Tomb Raiders, Twisted Metals, um, and then probably the last one I'm going to mention, Wild Arms 2. Um, really need to play more of that, but I just want to play Wild Arms 1 first, so. So yeah, that is my second shelf. On to my third shelf, which is mostly Nintendo games, like, um, newer Nintendo games, I should say. Um. At the top here, Game Boy case with um, my game, uh, my three Game Boys in there actually. Um, one original and then uh, two colors. Uh, box for my 25th anniversary Wii. Odama with the microphone in there. The game is actually on the shelf though. 3DS box and then two box Game Boy games. And then the other Game Boy games I own. I mix Game Boy and Game Boy Color games just because it's more convenient. Um, yeah, I, um, yeah, it's a pain in the ass to show you some of the good games because I really don't know where they are. 
But I have like Pokemon Gold, if you can see, yeah, Gold. Um, like where is it? Operation, Operation C. Fuck that won't even focus. Um, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass to show you these, but yeah, I have some good ones in there. Just it's a pain in the ass. Um, that Mega Memory card. Um, going down a shelf right here. The only not Nintendo thing on this shelf. Um, this Coleco head to head hockey. Just couldn't find a place for it anywhere else, so put it here. My Wii games. Uh, I have 34 Wii games or something like that. 36, I think it is, actually. Um, yeah, Castle Shikigami. Um, I have a feeling this is going to become a pretty sought-after game in the future. And it's a pretty good one, too. It's a pretty awesome uh, shooter. Let's see. Uh, another one that I think is going to be um, pretty valuable later. Kororimpa, Marble Mania. Um, fucking amazing. Um... Was it like Mar Marvel Madness type game? Um, Mad World, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, Prime Three, which I played some of um, recently. It's a fantastic game. I have to say this is probably my favorite Prime game. Um, the first one was great. Second one, yeah. Uh, but third one is really fantastic. And Muramasa, really awesome game here too as well. Like, holy shit. Um, Poke Park is actually pretty good. No More Heroes. Almost forgot No More Heroes. Um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, obviously. And that goes into my GameCube collection. GameCube, I have 90 games for. I wish I had more. I'm missing some of the better titles. Um, like I'm missing uh, Ikoruga uh, and uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Pikmin games. Um, like the list just goes on and on. Wind Waker. Like I'm missing a lot of games for my GameCube collection. But yeah. Um, yeah, here are my GameCube games. Um, one of the most underrated games, in my personal opinion, Amazing Island. If you like Mario Party, definitely give that one a try. It's an awesome game. Billy Hatcher is pretty cool. Going down, um, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 2, F Zero, GX, one of my favorite racing games, even though it's hard as fuck. Um, another underrated gem right here, in my opinion, Go Go Hyper Grind. It's um, if you like Tony Hawk games, definitely give this one a try. It's Tony Hawk on fucking crack. It's amazing. Um, Twilight Princess. And then uh, Luigi's Mansion. And then uh, Mario Kart. Mario Party 6. I actually have 7 as well, but it's disc only, so I don't consider it part of my collection. Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Naruto. Clash of Ninja 1 and 2, which I think are great games. Fuck the focus. Holy shit. Alright, um, Odama. Paper Mario, great game. Um, let's see, Pokemon Coliseum, even though I was kind of disappointed by that. One of the more valuable games in my collection, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I think I forgot to mention this. Every game in my collection, um, I mean, well, not every, there's like, I believe, three or four exceptions I paid less than $10 for. And um, the majority I paid around a dollar for most of my games. Um, so yeah, I just forgot to mention that. And um, going down the... Fuck, I was about to fall there. Right, um, going down there, shelf. Um, yeah, just more GameCube games. Sonic Riders, a very underrated game in my personal opinion. And then um, Sonic Heroes, I love that game too. Soul Calibur 2 is a great game. Spider-Man 2 is an awesome game. Uh, Star Fox Adventures, another underrated game in my personal opinion. Super Monkey Ball is awesome. Obviously, Melee, um, my most played game of all time. Time Splitters Future Perfect, which this game goes for a decent amount of money on GameCube. I, I mean, it's a fantastic game, but it goes for like $25. I don't know why exactly, but... Um, it's only on GameCube. Like, the other co versions of the um, game you can get like for 10 even the Xbox, I believe you can get for five, but that one goes for like twenty-five for some reason. And yeah, that ends my GameCube collection. On to N64. N64, tell truth, is probably my most disappointing collection. It is like my, f I believe my fifth biggest collection. I have like eighty something games for, but um, a lot of them are sports games. To be honest, um, I'm probably like sixty percent of them are sports games. And the main reason is because um, I want again complete N64 collection. So I decided to start out with the sports games, which I think is probably a big mistake 
in terms of collecting is to start off with the cheap ones because um, the more expensive games have gotten really expensive now. Um, like Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut is fucking bullshit. Um, I remember when I started collecting, it used to go for like 50. Now it goes for like, like, like at least like probably 100, um, most likely more. Um, and same thing, like Conker's Bad Fur Day. It used to go for like 40, now it goes for like 60, 70 dollars. It's fucking bullshit with N64 now. But, um, yeah, here are box ones I have. Um, and then a couple loose games, and then more, two more rows of loose games here. Um, again, it's a hassle to show you guys the games, but, um, I'll point out the ones that I know where they are, like Donkey Kong 64, which is a great game. Um, it must be somewhere in here. Is that it? Yep. Mario Kart 64. Um, come on, yep. Yeah. Make, Mickey Speedway USA. Like, I'm fucking guessing, like, where my fucking games are. It's kind of sad. And then the bottom shelf here. Um. Yeah, uh, let's see. I believe it's this one. Yep. Space Station Silicon Valley. Really underrated platformer. And then Super Mario 64, my favorite game of all time. And the Tony Hawk games here. Need to get the third one. Uh, third one's getting a little more expensive now, like probably around ten dollars. Not too too expensive though. Um, so yeah, N sixty four collection. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have to really fucking say. Uh, I guess I'll go to the next shelf at the bottom here. Um, it's pretty much just all the random crap I have. This is the final bookshelf, by the way. Um, this is pretty much just all the random crap I have, and I just tried to all fit, fit it all on the shelf. Um, like, right here, the shoe box right here is filled with a whole bunch of extra controllers and shit. Um, which some don't even fit in. Like, there's a, an Xbox controller. Um, some kind of controller there, I can't even tell. Fuck. Um, some Pokemon cards in the back that you can't see. Um, Super Joy there. Some other cables. Um, some dust sleeves in the back for NES games and stuff. Um, Wii Condom. With a Xbox thing for the remote, whatever it was. Um, right there, which you can't see, are my strategy guides. Um, just pick them up. I just usually pick them up when they're like a dollar. Um, my GameCube from when I was a kid. Um, empty cases right there. Well, these two are. And then, um, fuck, the fucking focus is messed up. And then a sealed web browser at the top. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, um, this is a bag from EA, from the EA store, and, um, EA, uh, Tribute Run, Tribute Run, something like that. Um, over here at the bottom are magazines, Game Informers and Game Pros and stuff. At the top here is, um, my duplicates that I need to sell. Um, pretty much everything from that yard sale video that I, sh um, that I had, well, I think it was December Pickups Part 2. Everything is still here. I just haven't had the time to sell shit. But, um, yeah, some pretty good duplicates. Like, you can see right there, um, Mario Kart 64 and Smash Bros. Melee. Um, Piece 2 Slim. What was that? Um, Pokemon Gold. See, I have some decent stuff to sell. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, going up another shelf right here. Um, Pokemon Memory Game. My Sega Genesis. Oh, Halo Book. Uh, Sega Genesis. Just really have nothing to do with it because I have the Retron 3 and I have no fucking space. Um, over here, Super Nintendo games. Super Nintendo is a lot like um, N64. I have a lot of sports games for the Super Nintendo. Um, just because the other games for the console are just so fucking hard to find, cheap. But, um, yeah, I'll just point out some decent ones, I guess. Which there really aren't any on this fucking shelf. I guess Top Gear. It's a pretty cool game. Um, going up the other shelf, this is where the majority of my Super Nintendo games are, and the good ones are. Um, oh, by the way, all my games are in alphabetical order. It just so happens that my good Super Nintendo games are in the beginning of the alphabet. But um, there's box games. They're all sports. But I got them for like a buck a piece, so it's not bad. Um, like Chuck Rock's a pretty cool game. Obviously, Contra 3. Um, that's the game. Firepower 2000. Great shooter. Um, there's one game that I'm looking for. Where the fuck is it? Right here. Um, obviously, 
Link to the Past is fucking amazing. So yeah. That's my Super Nintendo collection. Um, I have like 50-something games for Super Nintendo. A lot of them are sports games, though, to be honest. Going up, NES collection. Um, I don't know. Like, NES collection is really weird for me because I don't find NES games too often for some reason. Uh, the only time I see them are at the flea market. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of these are just, like, games I, um, that were priced at, like, two or three dollars that I just, like, got thrown into a deal. Um, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, so I don't have the greatest titles. I have some pretty fun ones, though, like, Dr. Mario. Like, all these are extremely common, but some of these are actually pretty fun. Like, um, Fantastic Adventure of Dizzy, Chimerica game. Um, Iron Sword. Fucking rare, rare game. Fucking hard as hell, but it's an amazing game, though. Um, pretty good shooter here. Legendary Wings. Um, everyone's favorite Mag Max. <laughs> Fucking... Why is the focus so messed up? Alright, um... Mappy Land's pretty cool. Um, probably the best one, which isn't really that great, but Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, great game, even though it really isn't a Mario game, but whatever. Um, yeah, I have like 30-something, 30 33 maybe, NES games, I forgot. Next up, uh, Sega Genesis. I have 36 Genesis games, I believe. So not too, too many, but, um, a decent amount. Missing a lot of good games, though. Um, but here are my loose carts. Only have a few because I try to get them complete. But, um, you know, Rast, or at least in the box. Um, Rastin, Saga 2, um, and Sonic are probably the only ones worth mentioning. I mean, I guess Skitchin. It's a pretty cool game, but, yeah. Going up to the, almost to the top shelf, um, my Box Genesis games. Um, let's see, Animaniacs is pretty cool. Probably my favorite Genesis game of all time, Disney's Aladdin. Um, absolutely brilliant game. Uh, Fantasia is okay. Mortal Kombat is fun. Uh, Lion King. Is um, a great game, even though it's hard as hell. NBA Jam, and then a lot of sports games there. Uh, Sonic Spinball. Uh, fuck the focus. Oh my god, NES Cleaning Kit in the box. And then a couple spare memory cards are in that little crack thing there. Um, and then finally, we're almost done here. At the top of my bookshelf is, um, of the final bookshelf, are really just a whole bunch of random crap um right there is my Sega Gen I uh, Sega Dreamcast box um backer cards from Blockbuster um Art of Assassin's Creed book love Assassin's Creed if you can tell already um Retron 3 box Sonic um plush thing um was it Astropad boxed for Dreamcast um just a get random GameStop gift card that um, I have, um, One Piece, or, um, Sharpener that's holding my DS games together, and then last but not least are my DS games. Um, DS games, I'm having trouble finding them complete, and I refuse to buy them cart only, um, so, yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass collecting for a DS in the future, same thing with the PSP, but, um, yeah, just, these are the games I have, nothing that great. If they will zoom in. Um, Hotel Dusk. Uh, Legend of Star... Legendary Starfy. Mist is still sealed. Um, Pokemon Bloom Rescue Team. Um, Puzzle Quest, which I'm playing a lot of. And Trauma Center, which is probably my favorite DS game. And then 3DS games, just games I got for cheap. Pilot Wings and Steel Diver. And Tom Clancy's um, Shadow Wars is a fantastic game. But yeah, that's my room tour. Like, shit. Um... 33, 34 minutes now, alright. Um, yeah, that's my entire video game collection. Um, well, that and then a couple games, right? Um, probably, I think there's like 30 something games over there. But, um, yeah, um, I guess thank you for watching. Yeah, alright.